What's going on people, it is Carlos here and I'm going to be doing a video regarding my PlayStation 3. My PlayStation 3 just, it died. It finally died. I got the yellow light of death. Um, so, it pretty much lasted forever, for a couple of years actually, for more than almost 10 years, but two years short, but whatever. Um, so it lasted pretty well, pretty long. Although, I can say that uh, my PS3 death would not have uh, had occurred if I played GTA for so long. Um, that being said, I think GTA 5 was the problem there because, well, it kind of made the fan of the system go haywire, go super fast. Meanwhile, if I play a different game, um, like, G like uh, <laughs> Call of Duty or, uh, you know, um, my RPG games, um, the, uh, the the fan will not go or will not be spinning as much or fast as it should, you know. So, yeah, here's my PS3 right here. I'm gonna, it's kind of hard to get it because it's super heavy. Not heavy, it's just it's kind of hard because I'm, I'm sitting down and I'm doing this. So, yeah, there's the PS3, it's a 60 gig model. And also, uh, yes, this, the seal here has not been removed. Which means that this PS3 lasted a long time, you know. Um, but apart from that, uh, my PS3 did survive or did turn on for a few minutes and then it died. But luckily I was able to spit the disc out in time because, well, you would have to go through that process of, oh, your PS3 didn't turn off properly, you gotta restore or something. I'm not gonna restore because I know if I re try to restore it's gonna corrupt the system internally and I'll lose the system forever, you know. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to skip all that because it's not like PS4. PS4, if you turn off your system uh, through power plugging it, uh, un unplugging it, um, and this happened before uh, one time uh, on, on purpose because, well, I tried to turn it off. I didn't want to turn on the system. I was trying to use the PS4 controller on the PS3, and for some reason, after I took the PS3 contro uh, PS4 controller off, the USB port on here, it turned on the PS3, I mean, it turned on the PS4, excuse me, I'm being, I'm confusing everyone. So, PS4 controller to PS3, but PS4 controller turns on PS4 instead, so that's how simple it is. So, yeah, I did that and it caused my whole internal data to be corrupted. I had to go over and re-download the update recovery data and, yeah, it's pretty, it's stupid, yes, of me, it's stupid of me if I'm doing that, but whatever. I'm a PlayStation owner, you know, I learned from that experience, <laughs> but uh, from that, you know, all I can say is that uh, this PS3 served me for a long time and I can't let it go just yet, you know, I may, I may end up reviving it somehow or not, I'll just get a, a slimmed down version, even though, even though I do like the PS2 compa backwards compatibility, <laughs> excuse me if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. The compatibility of the PS2 uh, still lies within the PS3. The only thing that this PS3 does lack is the lack of system data. You cannot um, install data on the system. It won't let you. I don't know. I don't understand why. It, won't, it will only install on the 20 gig model, on the 80 gig model, but not on the 60. I don't know. I don't understand. But whatever. Um, that's about it. You know, PS3 is dead. Um, you know. Luckily, I have my PS4, but I still want to play my PS3 because I'm, I'm, I still have games I haven't finished. And I have games I'm going to be getting for the PS3. Even though I won't have system, I c I'll still have them for limited, collect uh, limited edition, collector's edition, whatever you want to call it, you know. But whatever. Um, anyway, you know, rest in peace, PlayStation 3. Although, I could still turn on and survive for five more minutes, but I'm not going to risk it. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm Carlos. And I will see you on the next video. Rest in peace, PS3. Rest in peace.